YouTube. How are you doing? Sitting in the sun here on this beautiful Friday here in the Netherlands. I'm gonna talk about two days ago when I installed Windows 10 on the MacBook 1.1, the deprecated one. As you know, it's a very popular Mac now because it runs only Windows 10. The install procedure was kind of different and we overruled EVI with UEVI and in some way we got Windows 10 to be installed as the only operating system on the MacBook 1.1. However, we did have some little issues. For instance, with the Intel 945 screen would result at the first boot up in a black screen. It would start up, everything would be there, but the backlight would not light up. Also the screen after the second reboot would be kind of dark. So we had a little app, the desktop lighter uh, that we installed and we could make the screen a little bit brighter so we could see what's crack lacking on the screen. And today uh, I was sitting just five minutes ago, I was sitting behind the computer and I got a little message in my notification center saying, hey Puck, check out, we have a driver for you. It was a driver for the Intel 945, an updated driver. So um, I was really happy to see that in two days. So they really, you know, worked on this problem really fast. And let's see what the results are. I might sound kind of happy. Yo, Microsoft was really, really fast. Look at this, man. Look at this. I just got the update here. Intel Corporation driver update for mobile Intel 945 Express. Bloody, bloody, blah. VDM10. Install now. Yes, please. And this will be fixed, yo, peeps. Um, yeah, this is very 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 uh, important because if this goes good you know we will have we and that resulted into a black screen oh no it's back it's back look at that fantastic and then we have screen brightness now here. Wow. I hope this is, we'll have to see if the issue is fixed now. Somewhere here we should have a screen brightness because the screen brightness is gone. I'm using this little app here. Desktop lighter. You see? Oh, look at that. Oh, the screen just got lighter, peeps. The screen just got lighter. You see that? Microsoft fixed that. Yo, thank you my developers so let's see if we can do a normal reboot now without getting into a black screen uh, so what we now must do is up new up starter so this this is this is this now we're gonna see if if this problem is fixed because if this problem is not fixed then it's a problem of the chipset then it's the chipset gonna reboot I already saw that the screen is way lighter so that that is that is already a uh, another goal so now we're gonna reboot and if we now if we now can do a normal reboot straight up to the desktop and uh, you see here UEFI is overruling EFI this is an overruling business, huh? <laughs> UEVI gets overruled by EVI. And e UEVI just knocks EVI knockout and passes the... But now, now, will this stay in a black screen? 
No, they fixed it. You fixed it. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen there at Microsoft. You guys are faster than ever. You see how excited somebody can get if a problem got fixed? Then probably the sleep will work now, eh? Probably the sleep will also work now. Wow. Look at how bright the screen is now. You see, peeps? That's why it's important to make videos. Eh? You see, this is the Windows 10 inside the preview. Uh, 10,000. Can you see it in the corner there? <clears throat> Whoa, I'm, I'm really happy, Microsoft. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy. So the whole thing with the two times booting up, it's not necessary anymore, yo. I went here to Action Center and Microsoft was calling me. They said, hey, Buck, we have drivers for you, man. Install them. And I installed them. So I'm going to go to settings again. Because I was already looking to go ahead and um, reset the whole windows again. But I'm not going to do it, man. I'm not going to do it anymore. Just looking at the system here. Here you can uh, boot again. So I want to see if it's possible to boot from that USB stick on a Mac. Eh? So that was what I was looking and then I found out that Uncle uh, Windows had a driver for me. So, um, doorgaan, uh, problem oplossen, uh, PC opnieuw installen. I think we need this one. Mm, geavanceerde opties. Um, no, this was not what I was looking for. Let me see. Doorgaan naar Windows 10. De PC uitzetten, problemen oplossen. What's gonna happen if I press this? No, 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 no. So here we can reset the PC. I was looking for upstart. No. Opdracht regelt prom op de opstart herstel. Herstellen met installatiekopie. Wat is dit? No. What is it doing? Oh, it's gonna boot. Okay. Let's see if it's gonna boot from the USB. I don't think so. You can forget about that. Nee, 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 nee. No, 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 no. I already love my windows. Don't worry. I was kidding. Let's see if it's uh, gonna forgive me for doing this crazy step that I was doing. Yes. Remove the stick. And we're back to booting. Yay. So, peeps, uh, the 9.45, I can confirm it works if this goes straight to the window screen then we know that it's 100% good ah 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 look at that look at that my people look at that my lovely people you know look at this the guys listened they checked you see if i did not make this project you know then this driver would never be fixed I think but it's all good to me it's working so a big thanks there to my developers 
look at the beautiful bright screen i don't have a dark screen anymore it's bright you know uh, it was really dark it's almost just as bright as my as my other one there okay that screen is white let's put it on a dark screen see well this one is maybe just a little bit is this working no this don't work you see these buttons don't work but that is not a problem but do we have uh, this brightness button where should the brightness button be oh here da -da -da. inside the Pharisees downloader yeah I know that but then I must let me see what this is. Um, Automatis Insider Controller of the Microsoft account correct is Insider versus Topper. No, it's all good, yo. I I I don't uh, I don't think I need anything more here. You see, we can put the screen brightness even brighter. You see, a little tick brighter. So this is the brightest that it can be. And we do that with the desktop lighter because there's still no um, no little button here to, to fix the screen. You see, so you must get desktop lighter. But for the rest, uh, I think it's perfect now. We're going to do one more reboot to see if everything is really just fine if we get back into a black screen so we do one more reboot the uitzondering bloody bloody blah okay it's all good as long as it's not uitzondering to me huh? original boot up question mark I would like to change that question mark into something else people you have an idea how to do that this is really fantastic Microsoft fixed the black screen of that they were really fast <laughs> you guys are so fantastic you guys are so fantastic you are the best you guys and girls eh? i know many girls also working at microsoft not forgetting about you ladies there not forgetting about you ladies well it's fixed we don't have to look at this booting up it does look beautiful don't you think mac 10 and then wow look the light coming out there <laughs> fantastic after the successful fix of the black screen thanks to the new updated driver of microsoft we can now gladly say that we won't have to reboot our machine two times before getting into the desktop also we saw that the brightness of this uh, desktop is also fixed of the back screen the light is way lighter although the uh, the brightness button is not working uh, in windows and also not uh, on the hardware the hardware button we do have a little app as you could see called uh, desktop lighter and that will let us put up the light even more so we even have a brighter desktop than this morning before the update you will also now think that the sleep is fixed so let's take a look at that um, we are here and we're gonna see if the sleep function now works we could see that we could restart and now we're gonna put the machine into sleep okay the machine is sleeping now you see and now i'm turning her on again light is on Okay, let me see. 
the screen is black. I press it one time. Wake up, baby. Wake me up before you go go. Okay, so the sleep is not working yet. Okay, we must kill her the hard way. And it's not even going. There she goes. So the sleep is not working yet. You cannot use the sleep yet, but you don't have to worry. You won't get into a black screen of that after a reboot. The thing will just reboot fine if you turn her off and turn her on again. Um, or if you just reboot, if you need to reboot because you installed some, some, some software or whatsoever. You know, um, I can confirm that that is now fixed. I was making a fool of myself the other day, getting into a black screen on YouTube. You know, I've, I know how Bill Gates felt when he got the blue screen of that on TV. But now I can confirm that this screen will come back. And I'm really proud of that. Thanks to my developers there at Microsoft. So, the only important thing that still need to be fixed. Really important thing is the sleep function. Um, you must go to the battery settings and set up your own plan and make sure that nothing is set up to go to sleep if you press the button that it just turn off the screen but not put the machine into sleep make sure you turn the sleep off because if it goes into sleep you will then get back into the black screen of never gonna start okay so you must remember that and having your machine set not to sleep doesn't necessarily mean that it's using more power because the screen time out is set here to one minute and if I'm not doing anything behind the laptop or behind the MacBook it will turn off the screen within one minute that also saves a lot of energy you know um, it doesn't really have to go to sleep I mean, I, you know most of the time the thing is doing something I shouldn't have people sleeping here in my I mean like then I can also put it in the if it must go to sleep all the time so I think that the battery usage of course might um, go a little bit faster thanks to that but I don't think that it will go really fast especially if the screen goes off then you won't have like so much energy uh, that is being used on the background at least depending on the programs that you have open if you close all these internet using programs or you just shut off the internet if you put it on flight mode then I think you're also not using uh, anything, you know, at least not too much. So that's it, peeps. Thanks again for watching. If you think this video helped out, of course, like, subscribe, and comment. And tell me if you have other MacBook Whites of the same family, also running Windows 10. Uh, let me know how it works for you and how you deal with the drivers. And, of course, if the sleep function is working for you.